Today, I want to show you how you can both download and install the official Windows 11 ISOs on your PC. With ISOs, it makes it really easy to install Windows 11 on any PC. Of course, assuming that your PC is even able to run Windows 11. Was that too soon? I know there are still some hard feelings out there about this. Previously, you can download ISOs from unofficial sources, but that's kind of like buying your medicine from a back alleyway. You might get your medicine or you could get something entirely different. First off, I want to show you how you can check whether your PC is even capable of running Windows 11. And then we'll join the Insider program which will allow you to download the ISOs. Then I'll show you how you can install them on your PC. Next, I'll also show you how you can set up a bootable USB drive. And at the very end, I'll also show you how you can set up a virtual machine if maybe you just want to play around with the latest build of Windows 11. All right, let's check it out. First off, you probably want to check whether your PC is even capable of running Windows 11. Luckily, there's a free tool called Why Not Win 11. You can download it right up here or down below in the description. Once you download the tool, you'll have to click on the Run button. You'll probably feel some butterflies when you run the tool because this is the moment of truth. Will your PC be able to run Windows 11? If you see a lot of red, it probably won't run Windows 11. If you see a lot of green, that's a good thing and you can continue on with Windows 11. Now that you've confirmed that your hardware is capable of running Windows 11, next we have to join the Windows Insider program. And just because you're joining this program, it's not going to cost you anything. It's entirely free. Head to the website insider.windows.com. I have the link right up above and once again down below in the description. Once you land on the home page, you'll see a register button. Click on that and then you'll have to sign in with a Microsoft account. Once you finish signing up for the program, you'll land on the home page for the Windows Insider program. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see this blue box with a bunch of quick links. Click on the one that says ISO. On the ISO page at the very bottom, you'll see a drop down list that contains all of the different ISOs that you can download. And currently there are two available for Windows 11. There's one that's called the dev build and there's another one called the beta build. So what's the difference between those two and which one should you choose? Well, with the dev build that has all of the latest functionality, but it might be a little bit less stable. With the beta build, it has a little bit less functionality, but it's also going to be a little bit more stable. So your choice, which one you want to run. I'm personally running the dev build because I like being on the cutting edge. Once you finish downloading the ISO, to install Windows 11, simply double click on the ISO. That'll mount the image and then you can click on setup.exe to kick off the install process. Once you start the install, you have two different options. You can do an in-place upgrade where you keep all of your apps and files. Or you can also choose to keep nothing, in which case you'll have a complete clean install of Windows 11. So the choice is yours. Now let's say that you want to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 11. That's also really easy to do. You'll need a few different things. You'll need to download the ISO. You'll also need a USB drive with at least 8 gigabytes of space. And then you'll also need an app that allows you to turn your USB drive into a bootable USB drive. And a fantastic free app to do that is called Rufus. You can download it right up here or down below in the description. With Rufus, insert your USB drive and enter the settings that I'm showing here on the screen. This will then decompile the ISO onto the bootable USB drive. You can then insert it into a computer, reboot the machine, and that'll allow you to install Windows 11. Lastly, you can also install Windows 11 on a virtual machine. This way, there's no risk of messing up your primary machine. Windows Professional comes with Hyper-V, which allows you to set up a virtual machine. If you've never used Hyper-V before and you're interested in how it works, I've included a link right up above. With Hyper-V, when you're setting up a new machine, you can select the ISO as the image for your machine. But let's say maybe you don't have Windows Professional, but you still want a virtual machine. 
you can install VirtualBox, link right up here as well, and that allows you to set up a virtual machine for free. And you can install the Windows 11 ISO on that. All right, well, that's how easy it is to get the official Windows 11 ISO. Down below in the comments, let me know what is your favorite new feature in Windows 11. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.